My disappointment is unmeasurable. And my day is ruined. We're talking about the Game Awards. Woo! Or as we're as we're calling it in the title of this video, the Disappointment Awards. No, I think you mean the Ad Awards. Where that Nintendo at though? Where's Where's Smash? Where's Zelda Two? <sighs> you mean Breath of the Wild Two? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Zelda Two already exists. Shut up. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. So there were a few games that some awards that got me excited, but. There was, you want to know how many good announcements there were? Nathan, why don't you tell them? Uh, one. And the stream glitched out while, while we were watching during that announcement, and we basically missed it. Ori 2. Yeah, and I would say Final Fantasy VII, except that wasn't a new game announcement. Uh... So, right now, I'm looking up all the games that were revealed in last year. How in the world did Sekiro beat Smash? Who did it? I want names. I want names of people who voted for Sekiro instead of Smash. Okay, so some of the newly announced games that were... Um, announced last year were stuff like... Now, Nathan, this is just general people's opinion, and I'm sure you can respect this. Crash Team Racing, the Crash Team Racing remake, an untitled Dragon Age game. People really love that series. Mortal Kombat 11. That's, we also got the first DLC character being Joker. Um, and other games like Far Cry. And what did we get this year? A brand new look at the next game for PS2. And the Muppets. They were there, and they did a thing. Yes. Yeah, who need, who needs to have any Nintendo announcements at all when we have the Muppets? Yeah, it... I don't even remember what they were, uh... What the category they were talking about was. And they... They had... They wasted Reggie. They had him just announce in... in the indie winner, but didn't have him announce any games. It's like, come on. You're gonna bring Reggie in and not have him announce anything? Waste everyone's time? Waste Reggie's time? Okay, to be fair, Reggie being, Reggie's speech that he gave was actually the only one of the only good parts of the Game Awards, to be honest. Like, I don't know. It was really his speech was really touching, but that was that was about it. Oh, and Ikumi Nakamura, of course, she's always she's always a treat to watch, and she knows it. But uh, they also, de they decided that the last game they would reveal before they announced the game of the year, the last game of the night that they would reveal, was a PS2 Fast and Furious game, <laughs> and like the. I don't know what her name is, but, like, the Fast and Furious actress that showed up was like, Yeah, I totally know games. I play Tekken. <laughs> Tekken in Mortal Kombat. Wow, you just took your credibility and shot it in the face. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. It... I, I barely know anything about that series, and I know it's pronounced Tekken. Yeah. And, I, and you know what really grinds my gears? The what what's what's the guy's name again who like runs the whole Jeff game? Keely. Yeah, Jeff Keely explicitly promised something Sonic related and nothing. So he just lied to all of us. <laughs> Thanks for that. That that makes me so very happy. Knowing that I was baited, and I got hyped for nothing. <sighs> we all were, Nathan. We all were. 
looking through Twitter tonight was a real was a real treat. Yeah, we we spent like the next probably like an hour after the game awards, like looking at Twitch comments and looking at Twitter and just looking at everyone's anger and agreeing with everything being said. I honestly I had a lot of respect for Jeff Keeley for doing this whole game awards and coming up and, you know, making a great show year after year. And then this one just took the biggest nosedive it could have possibly done. Just what happened? And why why wasn't then like Xbox brings their new console and Nintendo just has nothing? That does that doesn't make any sense. Also something they did last year which I thought was really cool was they brought the president of um or the guys who are like the head of PlayStation and Xbox and they brought Reggie all out on stage at once. I don't remember what they were talking about. But I thought that was really cool and they did nothing like that. Hell, I don't even think the guy yeah, the guy from the guy who's the head of Play I don't remember his name, but the guy who's the head of PlayStation wasn't even there. I mean, all all that Doug Bowser did was go up on stage to grab his award for best fighting game. Yep. And Sakurai wasn't even there, but he was. Sakurai working gets on... a pass because he's doing what he usually does, anyways. Yeah, he's working on Smash. Sakurai, please take a vacation. <laughs> this is this is like seriously not healthy. Take a vacation after after this next character comes out. And, and like and... I've I've heard even on his vacations he'll like still work. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like no, Sakurai, that's not a vacation. Relax. But is that it? Is that all we really have to say about it? I'm not mad. I'm not. Oh, I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm you, just you bet I'm mad. I uh, honestly, I'm gonna be honest. I almost cried because of how disappointed I was. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be a total nerd like that and say that because it's the truth. As a as a joke, I brought all my Sonic figures in like anticipation for some kind of Sonic announcement, and that was just a waste of everything. Hell, we even we even tried to summon the Nintendo gods. Yeah, as a as a joke, like we wanted a Smash announcement and Breath of the Wild Two, so as a joke, we all stacked our switches and circled around the Breath of the Wild and Smash Ultimate cartridges around them. And chanted Reggie while T posing in a circle. <laughs> I'll put the picture of it up while we're talking about it. But yeah, we're we're that stupid. So we were that hype. One of the friends who was watching with us missed something super important to him for this. Also, wait, what? Yeah, remember he missed his uh, his cousin's violin recital. Or whatever. Oh yeah, I thought you were talking about he like wasn't in the room at the time and missed an announcement he wanted oh, to see. No, what announcements? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Nothing good. Nothing new. It was just a bunch of. If I had to chalk, like I would say about half of the award show was just Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons in League of Legends. <laughs> Wouldn't you say? Yeah. Well, let's talk about Magic the Gathering, a not video game at the Game Awards. Hey, let's talk about Fast and Furious at the Game Awards. That's what that's what gamers want to see. They want to see Magic the Gathering and Fast and Furious. <sighs> what the hell happened? I was so hyped. Yeah, and, like, didn't Nintendo tweet out, like, oh, be sure to watch the Game Awards? It's yeah. Like, for, for what? Ultimate Alliance DLC and nothing else? Woo-hoo. And to be honest, Ultimate Alliance was my most disappointing game of this year. Didn't even add Quicksilver to the X-Men DLC. Who cares about the, uh, Ultimate Alliance 3 anyway? That game isn't even that good. <laughs> I couldn't even bother to finish it. Such a disappointing game. 
but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to talk about how crappy the Game Awards were. I swear, Nintendo better have a direct out in the next week. Or we're we're gonna we're gonna riot in the streets. Seriously, where the hell was Nintendo tonight? I just want I just want like I guess Ghost of Tsushima was pretty cool, and the new Final Fantasy VII trailer was cool, but it wasn't anything to like stand out. There was just nothing. It was just a bunch of nothing. And that's that's just it. It was a it was a three hour waste of everyone's time and nothing else. Yep. I just I can't go on, Nathan. Xbox kind of chose the worst place to show off their new console. Also, I really hope that they change the name. <laughs> What was the name again? Series X. What a stupid name. Xbox Scarlet was a better name. <sighs> Is that it? Do you have anything else to say? Not really. Jeff Keighley is a clown now. You said you said you followed him on Twitter, right? Yeah. Unfollow him. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> well... See you next video for an actual game instead of just us <laughs> being mad. Yeah. See you guys tomorrow for some more My Friend Pedro with 100% less bounce pads. <laughs> oh. Bye.